Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, which begins on page 396. Well, not only are we in the first week of Advent, uh, the start of a new liturgical year, but today we're celebrating the Feast of St. Andrew the Apostle. Let's pray. We will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Let's say together the opening canticle, the song of God's mercy. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up with him and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. So as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 147, and this begins on page 377. Psalm 147. O oh, praise the Lord. For it is good to sing praises to our God, and to praise him is joyful and right. The Lord is rebuilding Jerusalem. He is gathering together the scattered outcasts of Israel. He heals the broken in spirit and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by name. Great is our Lord, and great is his power. There is no measuring his understanding. The Lord restores the humble, but he brings down the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord a song of thanksgiving. Sing praises to our God upon the harp. He covers the heavens with cloud and prepares rain for the earth. He makes the grass to sprout upon the mountains. He gives the cattle their food and feeds the young ravens that call to him. He takes no pleasure in the strength of a horse, nor does he delight in anyone's legs. But the Lord's delight is in those that fear him, who wait in hope for his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem, Sing praises to your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates and blessed your children within you. He makes peace within your borders and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends his command to the earth and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool and scatters the hoarfrost like ashes. He sprinkles his eyes like morsels of bread, and the waters harden at his frost. He sends out his word and melts them. He blows with his wind and the waters flow. He made his word known to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation nor have they the knowledge of his laws. Praise the Lord. Lord our God, our creator, redeemer and sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, 
to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness now and forever. Amen. First reading this morning is from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verses 1 to 9a. Listen to me, O coastlands, pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me away, and he said to me, You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have laboured in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him, for I am honoured in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nations, the slave of rulers, kings shall see and stand up, princes, and they shall be and they shall prostrate themselves, because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel, who has chosen you. Thus says the Lord, In the time of favour I have answered you, on the day of salvation I have helped you, I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages, saying to prisoners, come out. To those who are in darkness, show yourselves. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The second reading is from John's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. The next day, John again was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. When Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which, translate, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? And he said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated, anointed. He brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are called Cephas, which is translated, Peter. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Let's say together the canticle, a song of the blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Colic Prayer for St. Andrew's Day. Ever-living God, whose apostle Andrew heard the call of your son and followed, bringing his brother with him, inspire us like him to offer ourselves readily for your service and to tell others the good news of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So today on this feast of St. Andrew, we pray um, that as he was sent to proclaim the good news, that we in our turn in today's world as the church may always be heralds of good news and joy to all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Andrew was one of the two who followed the Lord, and so may we follow in courage and in simplicity of heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Andrew was loved by the Lord. May we experience that same love in all that we say and in all that we do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Andrew rejoiced when he found the Messiah. And so we pray for all the disenchanted young people of our country who search in vain for purpose, meaning, faith, and belief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Andrew and Peter left their nets to follow the Lord. May we have the courage to abandon the nets of selfishness and sinful attachments. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the church throughout the world and throughout our own country of Australia, we're asked to pray especially today for the Diocese of Wangaratta, for Bishop Clarence Bester, and for all the clergy and people in that diocese. We pray for Shelford Girls Grammar, for its principal, Katrina Brennan. We pray for St Andrew's Somerville, their parish priest, Philip Herwood, and Christ Church Essendon for the induction service to take place there with Bishop Geneve Blackwell. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our own parish here in Newtown, for all the parish family, but in our cycle of prayer, we pray especially today for Lee and Gordon McGregor, Naomi and Peter Miller, Helen Modra, for Heather and Owen Morgan. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the morning collect, Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all that we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.